any trouble here? Then I'll let you lead her. What about the bar? Burn it down. We gotta go. Nah, we don't. They're scared of us. How are you doing? Good, man. All the best for seeing you. I, I appreciate you saying that. Uh, listen, man, you know I'm a fan of your work. There's gonna be people out there who have never seen anything you've done. If they've never seen anything, what's the first thing you'd like them watching and why? Uh, they've never seen anything? Yeah, you know what uh, I mean? Like some, whoever that might be. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so, yeah. Um, just enjoy yourself. If you don't like it, that's cool. You know, like, there's something for everybody. I'm just one of the, one of the tribe. Right. Sure. Is there a certain role, though, that you would like people to start with? Nah, I don't mind. Like, if you like movies, enjoy them. If you don't like my movies or movies I'm in or anything like that, then, then that's cool, too. You know, it's like there's plenty for everybody. So um, one of the things that's really cool about Bike Riders is that he got everyone, there's that shot of everyone on the highway, no helmets, all riding mm. motorcycles that are vintage. And I know what a bitch it is for insurance to like pull something like that off. So what did it mean to you to actually be riding real bikes with everyone and really doing that stuff? It's, listen, you know, I, 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 it's a great shot, the one with uh, Austin and Jody and the whole fleet coming up behind them. That's uh, just a beautiful shot. Uh, I don't think I was in that. So, <laughs> so uh, I think I, I don't think I, I was in that one. Um, yeah, but there's other shots of everyone like you're riding a motorcycle in the movie. That's not to. That's not to. There were there yeah, loads that I was riding yeah. in, in in the movie, but that particular shot was. How did it feel? I can't tell you how it felt to be in that one, but to watch it, I was like, "What? Which shot was in that?" Well, um, the, the other stuff that I rode. I mean, I like riding. I, I ride. I'm not particularly good, but I've been riding for about seven years, maybe more. Um, I like bikes. Uh, I'm not particularly crazy on them, so I don't know that much um, like super skills or anything, but uh, I can get on one and, and move it about. So the difference between the bikes that I ride, uh, they, they, they have brakes. They have, uh, uh, I mean, not that Harleys don't have brakes, they do, but these, these were sort of antiquarian bikes in many ways. They, 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 were, they were there originally. So they're 1958, 1960, 1963, 67. All the Harleys that were in that movie were timepieces. So um, they were incredible. Uh, for that very reason, but they have fundamental differences to the bikes that I ride today. Uh, like, for example, if I, I accelerate, my accelerator goes back of its own accord, you know, on my throttle. Whereas these, if you pull them back, you have to turn them off. You know, uh, the brakes, you have to pump, like, uh, and even then, you, it's questionable whether they'll stop you. They might slow you down a bit, but, uh, you know, you keep pumping them and pumping them a little bit like uh, like a commode in a trailer. And, uh <laughs> to get rid of a dookie who might give uh, and uh, and anything that you uh, you might need for a Harley may fall off another Harley to uh, so if you want to look for parts they, they're coming off of those bikes um, it was amazing but at the same time as face pulling and trying to maintain looking like you're in control they needed a certain amount of management in order for you not to fall off it and certainly to stop on them so it was great but it, it needed some some attention uh, I am a big fan of your work, and I'm just curious, for a role like this, how early before you start shooting are you, like, breaking down the script and thinking about your character? How much, have, as your career has gone on, uh, has your, like, you know, the way you get ready for a role changed? Um, do you know what? I, like, I'm, it's a difficult one, that one, because I, I, I trained, I went to drama school, I did all that. I'm 46 years old. Um, I've been doing this for about 20 years and so some people may go well you're not very good and some people might like what I do um, but I've economized how I work on things now um, I've never I've always been quite instinctive so um, every, I don't have a process any process that works to get the job done really um, and, and I mean, I'm quite geeky so I've studied lots of stuff but uh, how long do I prepare? It depends on what it is. I, sometimes I, I, I don't read a script. I'll ask somebody to tell me the story, you know, the director, or it, it, because 
the case file or the script will corroborate what the director's really excited about, you know, what, what they're trying to say or what they're trying to do with a, a piece or a character. So sometimes now I find that I, I prefer conversations with directors uh, or writers or the, or the, or the polycross of the two to understand what it is that they, they're trying to do or what they want to do with the character. Um, that may sound perhaps, um, I don't know, like uh, as if I don't care. It, it's quite the opposite, actually. Um, sometimes the case file, the, the script doesn't corroborate what the director's trying to get at or the writer. Not everything is, is set in stone. Uh, some things you don't mess with at all, obviously. In theatre, you have to learn your lines before turning up and all that sort of stuff. I'm, I yeah, understand the discipline of theatre. I understand the discipline of acting, but it changes. It depends very much about what we're trying to do as a team. Uh, and, and obviously, there's certain scenes are going to need more attention than others. Some, very little, they come easily. It really just depends. I, I don't know. So I approach every project depending on how, how, how I meet it. Sure. I have to stop there. I'm just going to say thank you so much. Congrats. I know it's. I'm already out of time. Thank you so much. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to some, you know, Venom movie that might be coming up in the future. Yeah, that's soon. Hey, I love talking to you. So thank you. I'm so grateful you're number one up. And uh, thanks. Great to see you, buddy.